welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd do a 12 by 12 little girl scrapbook layout. The paper that I'm using for today is actually from scrapbook.com. It's from the Echo Park I Love Spring and it's called Busy Bumblebees. To start off, I do have my border. This is just a Google image that I brought down to my silhouette and trace. I use this border all the time and I just stretched it out to be 11 and a half. Now go ahead and glue it down with my zip dry. Next, I'll go ahead and back this on a piece of 12 by 12 craft card stock paper. Next, I do have my frame. Now for my actual frame, this is just a Googled image that I brought down to my silhouette in Trace. I think it's so pretty. I'm so glad I found it. I'm not even sure what I typed. Usually when I'm looking for frames or, or borders, I'm there for quite a while. <laughs> um, so for my frame, I measure seven and one eighth by five and one eighth. And on my, um, on my silhouette inside I just added a square and I adjusted just so I could go ahead and fit a 4x6 uh, picture and then did internal offset. All of the files that I'm using for today are actually from Cricut Design Space. To start off, I do have my title. For my title, it measures 2 and 3 eighths by 4 and 3 quarters. Go ahead and bring it over here. Next, I do have my tree. For my tree, it does measure four by five and a half. And um, here on the center of the little flowers, I decided to add enamel dots. Go ahead and bring it over here. I love this tree. I think it's so pretty. Next, I do have my little girl and her little stroller. Uh, for my girl, she does measure four by five and a half. Go ahead and bring her right here. And also here on the flowers and on her little um, flower here on her jacket, I uh, did add a little enamel dots. I think this cartridge is called Kate's ABCs. I'm not too sure, but um, I was obsessed with this, <laughs> with these files for a while. I created all these files um, a couple of months ago, just didn't have a chance to film, but I even did a card. I didn't re um, get a chance to record that one because I am, um, um, I made it for my mother 
and uh, she she asked me for a card for a birthday party, and I made her with this little um, garage ball. So cute. And they're so easy to put together. I really like that. Now for these, I'm not sure if these are bees or bumblebees, but either way, uh, they actually come together. Uh, for this file, it measures two and a half by three and a half. And for her little crown, I add a little enamel star. I'll put it right here. Now I do have little accessories as well. And here on my flowers, I actually ended up, I, I first I, I did cut out the, the parts here that I would add the flower to, but at the end I decided to go ahead and put actual paper flowers from Hobby Lobby. And these are the Paper Studio brand. Uh, they do measure two and a half by two inches. I just thought it would look better. And here I added little enamel dots. And I also just have two, um, I have flower, two flower, two butterflies. I remember uh, showing this. Um, I always show my husband my layouts before I film them. <laughs> and he was like, oh my God, is the little girl being attacked by all those bees? <laughs> I just thought this paper is so cute and I never get a chance to use it. I did use it on a uh, Winnie the Pooh layout I had done a while ago. But other than that, I have like a couple, but I, I haven't used them. But he was like, that poor little girl. <laughs> and there you have it. This is my 12 by 12 um, little girl scrapbook layout. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye for now.